Good afternoon and welcome to this service of Evensong on Passion Sunday, the fifth Sunday of Lent. This service is being shared at the Bowen Benefice with St James Hasingdon, St Peter's Lame Side and St Thomas Musbury. Wherever you are, you are very welcome. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Psalm 30. I will magnify thee, O Lord, for thou hast set me up, and not made my foes to triumph over me. O Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. The Lord has brought my soul out of hell. Thou hast kept my life from them that go down to the pit. Sing praises unto the Lord, O ye saints of you, and give thanks unto him for a remembrance of his holiness. For his wrath endureth but the twinkling of an eye, and in his pleasure is life. Heaviness may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. And in my prosperity I said, I shall never be removed. The Lord of thy goodness has made my heel so strong. Thou didst turn thy face from me, and I was troubled. Then cried I unto thee, O Lord, and guide me to my Lord right humbly. What profit is there in my blood? When I go down to the pit, shall the dust give thanks unto thee, or shall it declare thy truth? Hear, O Lord, and have mercy upon me. Lord, be thou my helper. Thou hast turned my heaviness into joy. Thou hast put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness. Therefore shall every good man sing of thy praise without ceasing. O my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. He beginneth the 19th verse of the third chapter of the book of Lamentations. Remembering mine affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gall, my soul hath them still in remembrance, and is humbled in me. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke in his youth. He sitteth alone and keepeth silence, because he hath borne it upon him. He putteth his mouth in the dust, if so be there may be hope. He giveth his cheek to them that smiteth him. He is filled with full of reproach. For the Lord will not cast off for ever. But though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. For he doth not afflict willingly, nor grieve the children of men. Here endeth the first lesson. We sing the office hymn, Sing My Tongue, the Glorious Battle. 
Sing my tongue the glorious battle, sing the ending of the fray. Now above the cross the trophy, sound the loud triumphant lay. Tell how Christ the world's redeemer, as a victim won the Sword man fallen, shamed and sunk in misery. When he fell on death by tasting fruit of the forbidden tree, then another tree was chosen, which the world from death might flee. Thus the scheme of our salvation was of old in order laid, that the manifold deceivers art by art might be outweighed, and the Lord the foe put forward into me.
we begin at the 17th verse of the 20th chapter of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. And Jesus, going up to Jerusalem, took the twelve disciples apart in the way, and said unto them, Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, and shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock and scourge and crucify him, and the third day he shall rise again. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshipping him, and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She said unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptised with the baptism that I am baptised with? They say unto him, We are able. And he saith unto them, You shall indeed drink of my cup, and be baptised with the baptism that I am baptised with. But to sit on my right hand and to sit on my left is not mine to give. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. But Jesus called them unto him and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. But it shall not be so among you. But whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. Now as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. And behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And the multitude rebuked them, because they should hold their peace. But they cried out the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. And Jesus stood still and called them and said, What will ye that I shall do unto you? They say unto him, Lord, that our eyes may be opened. So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Here endeth the second lesson. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to enlighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. 
Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. We beseech thee, Almighty God, mercifully to look upon thy people, that by thy great goodness they may be governed and preserved evermore, both in body and soul, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We continue in our prayers. As we come into the season of Passion Tide, we give thanks for the cross of Christ. A symbol to remind us that earthly journeys end in heavenly ones. We give thanks for the Church turning towards Jesus' cross at this time. And we pray for those who suffer, for the persecuted Church, and for all who are fearful. We pray for our own journey towards God, asking for grace and strength to persevere, especially in these troubled and anxious times. O Holy Spirit, giver of light and life, impart to us thoughts better than our own thoughts, and prayers better than our own prayers, and powers better than our own powers, that we may spend and be spent in the ways of love and goodness, after the perfect image of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We continue to pray for the whole world, for all nations and their leaders, and for all people. We pray for those working to find cure for disease, especially for the stem of the coronavirus. We give thanks to all who work throughout the world for aid and relief agencies, for all who seek to bring comfort to those in need, and for the leaders of the world that they may always lead their people into ways of justice, mercy and peace. God our Creator, who in making all things named them good, we pray for your world, that the goodness which is your gift may overcome the seductions of greed and violence. We pray for your world, that the good which is our goal may draw close to the dawn of your kingdom and restore us to your paradise. Amen. 
and in this hour we pray for the closing of the day. We pray for our parishes, for all who live and work within them, for those who have worked during this day that we might live good and wholesome lives. We pray for all in need and for all being cared for in these parishes, for all who are anxious and lonely at this time, for those who are afraid and for those who are close to death. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who wake or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, give rest to the weary, sustain the dying, calm the suffering, and pity the distressed. All for your love's sake, O Christ our Redeemer. Amen. Amen. The grace, grace of our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. We sing our final hymn, God that madest earth and heaven. God that madest earth and heaven, darkness and light, who the day for toil has given for us the night. May thine angel God defend us, slumber sweet thy mercy send us, holy dreams and hearts attend us, this live long night. God us waking Understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be upon you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Amen.